Okay, so today I'm just gonna show you an easy eyeshadow look. You could do this with any colors. Um, they're all in my palette. So I have basically <clears throat> these four colors that I'm gonna work with, and then I'll do a little bit of this brighter one too. So if you have three to four colors, it's really easy to accomplish this eye look with it. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is put this color just all over the base of my lid. Now, you could also just put this um, like a champagne color, a very neutral color all over to prep the eye. Um, I first primed my eyes just with some of my highlight, my foundation, just so that the powders will stick and be pigmented. Next, like I said, I'm just gonna take this color right here. Okay, this is Stardust, and I am just going to pat it right along that base of my lid. And it's just very just soft and pretty. I like a little bit of shimmer on the lid on the bottom. Okay, and then the same thing on this side. Okay, so light and neutral, still really pretty. And then I'm gonna take the Eyeshadow Everything brush and I am going to dip it in this color called Bubba and just kind of warm it up. It'll be my transition shade. I'm gonna dip it in there, pat off the excess, and then kind of just come in and windshield wiper this color right above that first color that I did into the crease and up onto that brow bone. So it's really light, I need a little more. And I'm just gonna kind of pat it in there, windshield wiper it so it's soft, okay, all the way. So you'll see I'm keeping my eyes open so that I can see exactly where I'm placing the product. Okay, if you have hooded eyes, you're gonna for sure keep your eyes open so you can see exactly where your product is going. And you're gonna need to bring it up just a little higher because if you just get it like right here in the crease and then you open your eyes there, it's gonna disappear into that crease as it's open. So make sure their eyes are open and just place it where you want. That way you can see what it looks like on both sides. Okay, so now you have that second color on. Really, you could just do one more color. Um, I'm gonna show you. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do one or two. I'm actually just gonna do one more. I'm gonna do this color. It's warm, so I am just gonna use this smaller end right here. I'm gonna dip it in Philly, pat again, and I am just gonna place this in my outer corner right here. And get close so you guys can see. So you can see I have this little sideways kind of V going on into that crease. And again, if your eyes are hooded, you can still take it up into that crease a bit or just bring it in a little more right here so that you get that depth on the bottom. You could bring it in a little bit that way. You could even bring it out a little more that way, okay? Same thing on the other side. Okay, bring it in, we got that sideways V again. And then just kind of smooth it out. I'm gonna flip my brush around and smooth it out as well. Okay. So that one is obviously a little bit darker, so I'm gonna come back in here and just darken it up. Okay, but super easy, you don't have to be like super particular because you're gonna flip your brush around and here's the magic. I love the eyeshadow everything brush because it helps everything just blend together really pretty. Okay, super easy. Same thing, just gonna blend it together. Until you have the look that you want. Easy, okay? So if you need a little more, you can always come back and add a little more onto that side, however. So then the final like two things I'm gonna do, so that was three colors. Now I'm just gonna take a brighter color. I'm gonna take this color, which is Sabrina, <clears throat> and I am going to place it right under my brow bone, or under my eyebrow, okay? And that is going to brighten right under the brow. Make it pop a little bit. So you want a brighter color here, you can also use your illuminator. You can use a color called unicorn. 
which is like more white and that'll make it pop more. And then I'm gonna flip this again. You're just gonna wanna brush it on something like a towel or something since we did that dark color. And I'm gonna take that color again, so that brighter, and I am gonna pop it right in the inner corners right here to really make my eyes pop and stand out. Okay, you can see that. And you can bring it in a little bit, that's okay. Okay, then the last thing really with eyeshadow, and then we'll move on, would just be take that darker color and then just run it like right under those lashes. Okay, this is gonna give it like a smudgy, a smudgy smoky eye. Just like that. Okay, super easy. Same thing on this side. And then if you get too much, you can just clean it away with your brush. Not a big deal. I have, um, you know, like your foundation brush you could do. Okay, so easy, that's it, like everyday eye look. Then, I have to run over and grab my stuff. <laughs> then I'm just gonna put on my eyeliner, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna pop this on real quick. It's in my compact, it's cream, and I'm just gonna hurry. Right along that lash line. Okay, so you have now your eyeliner. I also like to bring it like down just a little bit right here. It makes it like a little bit more dramatic, but that's it. Um, hey, <laughs> eyeshadow tutorial done. So easy, you guys. Three colors really is all you need. Four if you wanna add just a little more something or you could add a little more brightness right here. Um, but really every day look and then your eyeliner. So all four of those colors that I just used just fit right in the compact, which is awesome along with all the other makeup. But again, like I said, just for some eyeshadow tips and reviews, you just want like a neutral color, a lighter neutral color. I mean, and that doesn't have to be like champagne color, kind of like what I used. Um, it could be like a light pink. It could be a really light purple, just depending on the color of your eyes and what you like. But a lighter color kind of all over or especially on the base and then to highlight under the brow and the inner corner. Then you want your transition shade, which is kind of just a medium color and that goes into the crease and a little bit up onto the brow bone to add that dimension and warmth. And then your final color would be your darker your darker color to really give dimension and depth to that outer corner. Um, and that's just one eye look. So if you're interested in more, there's obviously, that's something you can do with like any colors and you can make it as intense or as you know natural as you want it. But you can also do other eye looks with like dark all on the bottom and then like ombre up to the top. There's fun things. This is just my favorite way to teach eyeshadows because you can do it with all the colors. Like I said, it's the same method so you don't have to remember different things and it's really easy to kind of play up or down depending on what you're using. So, and then for my mascara, I have two that I love. I love Telescopic by L'Oreal, which is every day you can find it like Target. And I love Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I just got this. It's amazing, like it makes my eyelashes super long. So anyways, super fun, bye.